Welcome to ArchBlocks.com AutoCAD video tutorial series Creating an Electrical Lighting Plan. This is the second of a two-part video series on how to create a lighting plan in AutoCAD. The objectives for this tutorial use the arc command to draw perfectly tangent arc wiring from switches to fixtures. Use the polyline arc option to create continuous polyline arcs from switches to fixtures. And then also use running OSNAP for accuracy. Let's get started drawing some wiring using the arc command. Now the first thing we want to do is make sure that we have a layer for wiring and I have set that layer to a hidden line type. You can use any line type that you want for this layer. It's your personal preference. Your company may have standards that they require a certain line type for electrical wiring from switches to fixtures. The other thing we want to check is our line type scale factor. So I'm going to type in LTS and enter. And my line type scale factor right now is set to 48. And that's fine for my drawing. You'll want to adjust that depending on the line type or depending on the plot scale that you're going to output this drawing to. So I'll just hit enter to accept the default brackets and a setting of 48 for my LT scale. The next thing I want to do is set my running O snap. I'm going to be snapping to a lot of fixtures and a lot of switches in my project, and I want to set my running O snap for the proper O snaps so that if I have other O snaps set, they can get in the way or actually make inaccurate connections. So I'm going to go down to the O snap button on my status bar. I'm going to right click and I'm going to pick settings. I want endpoint on. I want quadrant checked on, and I'm going to take nearest off for right now for this particular task. These are the only two O snaps that I want. I'll pick OK. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. And for my first example, I'll just do a single arc connection. So I'll go A for arc. Typed it into the command prompt. So it's A spacebar. And it asked me for the first point of my arc. And then it asks for the second point. I'll just pick somewhere in the middle. You want to, you'll get good with a little bit of practice. You don't want your arcs to be too flat like a straight line. So depending on what kind of a bow you want on your wiring line, you can you get better with a little bit of practice. So I'm just going to pick up above here. And then after I pick the second one, then you start to see the arc drag. And I'm going to snap it to the quadrant, the top section of that circle fixture. And I'm done. If I tap the spacebar again, it brings up the arc command. It's the quickest way to repeat a command. And I'm going to draw a second arc over to the second feature. So that's the basic way of putting arcs from switches to outlets, or and switches, sorry, switches to outlets, switches to uh, fixtures. I'm going to erase these two, and we're going to do something a little bit fancier, and we're going to do sort of serpentine wiring using tangent arcs. And the way you do that is you enter the arc command. Again, you can type A spacebar, or you can pick arc off of your menu. I'm going to pick my start point, and this time I'm going to actually have the arc do two, sort of an S curve, so I'm going to sweep it this way on the first one, and then to get my arc to reattach and be tangent, I tap the spacebar once, it repeats the arc command. I tap the spacebar again when it asks for start point, and it automatically connects me. Okay, so I'm going to snap that to the top quadrant, and I'm done. I'll tap the spacebar to repeat the command, and typically I just do a single arc working my way around the set of fixtures. And again, you can bow it whatever you feel is appropriate. Now, if you don't like your arc that you drew on a single arc, if you just pick on it, you can adjust the bow, or what they call the bulge factor of an arc, with grips. So you can make it change the direction, increase the uh, bulge factor if you want. I'll just hit escape to clear that. Now the problem with 
tangent arcs is if you pick on an arc and you say that you don't like, you know, you want to make an adjustment. The problem is this, is you lose your tangent connection. So basically my recommendation is if you, if you drew a set of arcs that you don't like, just erase them. And then bring the arc command back up. And sweep it back into what you like. Okay? So there's an introduction to drawing tangent arcs with the arc command. Now let's take a look at the polyline option. If I go to erase these, you'll notice that they are separate objects. And it can be nice sometimes to have your wiring as a single connected set of arcs. And we can do that with the polyline command. So I'm going to again zoom back up. I'm going to enter the polyline command. Again, from my toolbar, pick a start point, and I have to select the arc option or it's going to draw straight lines. So I'm going to type A, space bar, and it gets me into the arc option within the polyline command. Now I need to type S for second point, and I can control where that second point is, just like a three point arc, and then it automatically I don't have to tap the space bar. It automatically goes into a tangent mode. So I'm going to pick here and then tap the space bar because I'm done. Now the difference here is when I pick on this, this is a polyline. So it can be advantageous at times to draw your wiring with a polyline command using the arc options. I'll hit escape to clear that out. And basically if you're just doing a single arc, there's no real advantage to drawing it with the polyline arc option. In fact, there's more prompts, so it's a little bit more work. So you can connect your, whoops, missed that start point. You can connect your fixtures in whatever type of a layout format that you like. So again, that is part two of our lighting plan, creating wiring from switches to fixtures and with the arc command and with the polyline command and also showing you how to do tangent arcs again by starting an arc and then you tap the space bar twice and it comes right back up connects back to the first arc and it's also a perfectly tangent connection so one thing i hate to see is arcs in a, any type of a drawing where there's not a tangent connection, if there's supposed to be a smooth flowing serpentine type of an object, make sure you keep them perfectly tangent. It's easy to do in AutoCAD. Well, that's it for part two of our lighting plan. And I thank you and have a great day. Again, thank you for watching this AutoCAD video tutorial. If you need any electrical symbol CAD block libraries, be sure to visit www.archblocks.com.